gonna we're not gonna play like a punk if we're going under par. We gotta attack when we can attack. A hair left of that pin, like we gotta go after this from 100. Okay. Just kind of start again up by this green. Like first thing you wanna know is what's it gonna do around the hole. You say that's max, min, or minimum. Yeah. Right. So a little wind in again. Yeah. Slide up slope. So again, we gotta add on to that a little mm -hmm. bit. So because I mean, this is this is the art of the short game here is picking the right shots. Mm -hmm. What trajectory, what spin, and then kind of where we need to land it. Beautiful. Oh my Progress. What's that? Damn, I wish I could do that in tournaments. Actually, no, I'm gonna start doing that in tournaments. Sorry. <laughs> Hannah. Hey, what's up? It's Kyle Drink of Mental Golf Type. Welcome to the last episode of Quest to Be the Best in this season with Hannah Bullard. And we're kind of taking it all together here. We're out on the golf course and we're gonna really finish this series up with going through you know, strategy for her. So she's really making good decisions. We got a lot of good work done on her practice, um, you know, how she's going to practice, practice plans, really implementing a shot process she can trust. And again, now we're putting it all together with just making great decisions and going through strategy on the course. And you're gonna see how we do that all for her and her mental health type. It's all coming up right now. Essentially what we're doing out here, what I do with a lot of players is I'm just caddying for them uh, and I'm just caddying for Hannah and I'm just, we, again, we're talking these shots out because especially for her, like being able to verbalize these things is important. And when you don't have a caddy, sometimes we feel weird or look goofy doing that, but um, you know, just getting her in the habit of just talking these things out, getting that structure, what's the information you need. Again, it's not a ton. As you hear her say, she doesn't need a lot. She just kind of needs to know a little bit of an adjusted yardage that max her men and then, you know, go with that club and go with her gut, which is really important. Uh huh. So if you look at that pin, where's better to miss, short or long? Short. Yeah. So when we look at a number, let's look at it max or min. Mm hmm. Or either or, right? So that, I would say this, this pin is like 102 max. Because again, if you fly that thing and it bounces in that bunker, now we got a short sided bunker, that's tricky. Mm -hmm. Or you got this long putt on a ridge, but if, even if you're a little short, it's just this little basic chip that you could even make mm -hmm. or whatever. Yeah. Just a little easy up and down. Dinner. Well, again, though, club selection, you're long, but you're actually in better shape than you were yeah and you miss it a little as we're into her decision making process out of the course kind of going through strategy you know one of the first things when we're talking about distances and yardages i want to know is that a maximum number a minimum number or either or so essentially is that you know let's say we have 137 is that as far as i can absolutely go do is that have to at least go that like it has to go past that or is it kind of in the middle where it can go a little give or take either way because that's going to determine especially when we're in between clubs what we need to do we got 140. 40? Little in? Yeah. And it's on like very front, it looks like. You're right, so that'd be 140 minimum. Yeah. Little wind into you, uphill slope. So you got a couple things working so against your distance right now. Six or seven, probably. Seven. Well, I would say the actual number is probably about 150. Mm hmm. You think seven's fine? So this is this is where we start to get into more like your the, we'll call it the feeling function. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, I would probably club up. What's that? Yeah. So you got to go your gut on this one. Yeah super important that she trusts her gut again as a feeler because it's essentially her gut's not going to lead her wrong when she gets in trouble she starts overthinking things and starts you know questioning you know am i right or am i wrong and she goes against that kind of natural feel that she has like this is where you got to trust your gut because there's going to be days out there where you're amped up and just crushing it mm -hmm. and you'll know when to back down or those yeah. days like look i just i got to get a little more club now real quick though before we get into that process do you know how this ball is going to react uh, it's above my feet, so right or left? Left. It's gonna go. Is that left. your final answer? Yeah. <laughs> Just here's a simple way to think about it. It always follows gravity, right? So, oh, yeah. so look at the slope. So if we're if it's above our feet, the ball's gonna go this way. If it's mm -hmm. below our feet, it's gonna go that way. Oh, that's smart. <laughs> okay, what's our move? Perfect. Love that. There you go. It's a little more specific on what you're trying to do. Mm-hmm. Good. All right, get that okay, line. So Stay down. That's 
so much better, it's ridiculous. So give me the yardage. 78. Max, min, or? Minimum. Yeah, right, so a little wind in again, slide up slope, so again, we gotta add on to that a little mm -hmm. bit. Well, that's your mission, right? That was kind of, even from day one, our first kind of goal is to see, can we get it past the pin, which you're doing mm -hmm. amazing at right now. So same thing right here. So again, once you get that line, make sure you know your move. Same thing on the wedge. Okay. There. Go in. Good stuff, kiddo. Held my Progress. breath on that one. What's that? Held my breath on that one. <laughs> Whenever it starts to go too high, it scares me. Yeah, but again, though, I mean, that's why we, <clears throat> when we make wise decisions like that, it gives us a room for error. So you hit that a little higher than we've been working on, but you gave yourself enough wiggle room where you're still able to be on the green. So again, I mean, like every episode, we're putting a heavy emphasis on short game and putting and just again, seeing breaks for her is is so, so big. So I'm really trying to keep showing her, you know, how to get up on the green, how to see where this thing is going to, you know, funnel towards the hole and what type of shot we need to play. Um, and this is an area in everybody's game um, across the board, and across levels. I think they could always be a little bit better, especially with amateur players, um, you know, just seeing the true amount of break and where you need to play shots and just picking the right shot um, can save a ton of shots. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Remember, I don't want you doing a darn thing until you're game planning. Okay. So, I mean, because this is, the, this is the art of the short game here, is picking the right shots. Mm -hmm. What trajectory, what spin, and then kind of where we need to land it. So let's, let's get up here, let's kind of do the same thing as we're doing on green reading. Where is the ball going to funnel towards the hole? That way. Yeah, yeah, towards right. So the water. As soon as we, as soon as we follow kind of our straight line, which mm -hmm. is probably about here. Yeah. You see this? Yeah. So that's why I'm always trying to get up on this high side. And just go, okay, where's this thing funneling down? So land it like right here. Well, that's the next question, right? Is like, you got to look at, do we want the ball to roll out or do we want it to slow down? Well, I'm gonna roll it out with this one. Okay. This close. Does the downhill affect that at all? Yeah. Well, again, if you put an actual overspin, think about this. Like, you ever, like, rollerblade or ride a bike or something? Mm -hmm. Okay, if you go down a hill, are you going to start going faster or are you going to slow down? Faster. You're going to go faster? Mm -hmm. Is that more dangerous? Yeah. Do we want to be more dangerous? No. Okay. So... So what I would be looking at is we want that ball to check up a little so gravity's pulling it down. You don't mm -hmm. want this ball to hit and accelerate down the slope. Okay. Yeah. Be and you could, but again, the thing is, though, is that you just you leave yourself a lot smaller margin for error like mm. you'd have to land it really close to here for that to roll out and still slow down enough yeah if we put some spin on this thing we're going to be able to fly it out here and then just let it funnel down so i would like to see play that little low checker remember how to hit that mm -hmm. so now we got our game plan we got our shot yeah and then now that's your only move right get to that finish so we can get that little spin on it go in Go. Oh. Damn, I wish I could do that in tournaments. Actually, no, I'm gonna start doing that in tournaments. Sorry. <laughs> Hannah, come on. <laughs> but again, it can be just pretty loose. Like, okay, I got pretty equal downhill, I got spin. Right, that's about as complex as your decision making needs to be. Yeah. That's crazy. So you pick the right club and you're two feet. That bless your heart, Anna. <laughs> so we're gonna go again closer to the green with a lot of green to work with. So gap wedge. There we go. Decision making. So again, this is probably that one to five ratio. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of green here. A little downhill, but we still need to get this ball to make sure it's rolling in over end. Yeah. That's nice. Roll. Let's roll. I like that play though. <laughs> Probably should have used 
56 for this one. But it's in my bag. Do you want me to get it? I would love that. Thanks. <laughs> you trying to spin it with a gap wedge? Oh. Now we're at like 107. Like no way. Your yeah. pitching wedge? You're Sometimes lying. 115. But yeah, you were just hitting seven or 155 on trackman. That doesn't even come close to equating. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh shit is right. But that's the cool thing though. We can learn so much from that stuff. Come, yeah, come in. Yeah. Man, you're seeing that stuff a lot better. Let's go. Beautiful. Go in the hole. Better. Better girl. Yeah. <clears throat> That's better. Let's go, Anna. So much better. It's ridiculous. Go in. Good stuff, kiddo. I really want to thank you for following Quest to be the best. And if you haven't yet, you know, make sure to go follow the first two seasons with uh, Tess Hackworthy, who's a Symmetra Tour player, and uh, Erica Baker, who is high school player, aspiring to be a college player, who I've you know coached. You know, the whole story's in there. But I uh, really encourage you to watch that. They're entertaining episodes. And um, again, really thank you for following. If you haven't been to mentalgolftype.com to get your free assessment yet, I really encourage you to do that also. And if you really want um, even more information, again, we have more videos on YouTube here. We also have our podcast, The Go Low Show, with a lot of really good mental game and performance lessons on there for you as well. Um, so we got a lot of content out there for you to really help your game. And again, just really want to thank you for following. Hope you're subscribed. Hope you'll share these episodes. Hope spread the word. But um, until the next season, we really appreciate you. We'll see you then. See, that's my issue. I do shit like that all the time. What's that? Hit the wrong club because I didn't think. <laughs> God, I'm mean, gonna have to get the sound Sorry. effects out. Start bleeping you out. <laughs> Freaking Texas, man. Sorry. <laughs>